Blog Marketing Tips and Social Media Marketing Tips Blog marketing tips may be, you're a business owner who is writing a blog for the first time, or you've had a bunch of blog posts published and would like to reinvigorate them, and really get an honest-to-goodness blog marketing campaign going for yourself. First of all, congratulations, second, you need to know how to draw traffic to your blog, since that's the whole purpose of your blogging efforts, more than likely. So here are some tips that can help you get the traffic that you need to your blog, and that will help you build a strong email and RSS subscriber base. Point one. Don't leave your blogs dormant. Probably the worst sin that many bloggers commit is to leave their blogs dormant. When bloggers go out of their way to attract readers, readers don't want to keep reading the same old post. They want to be attracted with new posts. It's good to create expectation, too. Let your readers know if you're going to post daily, a couple of times a week, or weekly. To this end, it might even be a better idea to create more blog posts than what you stated, than to not do anything at all. Once blog traffic is lost, some of it is gone forever because people lose their patience. Point two. Make sure that you have created a way for people to subscribe to your blog. When people subscribe to your blog, they find out in real time that you have created a post and they will be sure to read your future posts once they are alerted, which is the whole point. If they don't subscribe, then you will leave it to chance for them to remember your blog and to read what you have posted. People have short attention spans, so you need to tap them on the shoulder with a subscription. Point 3. Utilize Search Engine Optimization, SEO. SEO is crucial to make sure that people can find your blog. If you don't know how to utilize optimization keywords, then there are lots of resources like online articles, blog posts, and ebooks that can help you learn more. Social media marketing tips One reason people use social media today is to create outreach between a business owner and their fans online. The fact is that we live in a social media marketing age, and anyone who wants to create a marketing presence online might want to consider getting on board with social media marketing strategies. Here are a few strategies to keep in mind when reaching out to people online. Point 1. 1. Make sure that you've signed on with the most popular social networking sites like Twitter and Facebook, others may vary depending upon your field slash niches of interest. Many people already know which sites there are, so ask friends and on forums in your areas of interest, and then make sure to register at these places and have your profile pages up and ready to go. Make sure that your pages look professional and that they are engaging at the same time. It should go without saying, but make sure that you're not posting pictures that will cast you in a bad light or element, or that make you look untrustworthy, obnoxious, or weird. Point two. Make sure that you're advertising your social networking pages much as possible. For example, you can blog and put links in the blogs that will go to your social networking page. Conversely, you can mention your blog in your social networking page profile. In addition, if you have articles available in any online article directories, make sure that they contain a link pointing towards a social networking site as well as a main domain page. Conversely, you can post excerpts of your articles on your social networking page. You get the idea. Point 3. Make sure that you're posting in a way that builds healthy bonds with the public. The whole purpose of a business owner posting online, after all, is to create a bond with the public that will inspire them to check out your website and to shop. We live in a relationship-based business world, and business owners have figured out that they have to engage potential customers if they want to increase their revenues. Music